We've looked deep into your life and wondered what would make it simpler and easier? How could you enjoy your life more? How could we help you get ahead? Whatever your needs, however you'd like your life to be, our technology dreams to provide an answer for each and every one of you. Our innovation inspired from you. Your life reflected tonight in everything. Everything begins with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our MC for this evening, Jason Bradbury. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at that thing. Fantastic, thank you. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to... Samsung Premiere 2013, I'm Jason Bradbury, and I've got to be honest with you, I'm really excited uh, to be your MC for tonight's event. It's definitely a huge night, as you saw from the video. Uh, we've got something of a, a pop-up theme for this event, and I think you'll uh, agree with me that you know, there's a magic to pop-up books. They're not just flat on the page, they offer new dimensions, new possibilities, and in line with that, things will be popping up throughout this evening. So Samsung, I've got several products to introduce to you. Uh, we've also got some seriously cool surprises. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. But to begin, I'd like to bring onto stage the president and head uh, of sales and marketing, IT and mobile communications division of Samsung Electronics, and allow him to turn the first page of our pop-up book. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Mr. DJ Lee. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, my name is DJ Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight here. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. It has been just uh, three months since we have announced the Galaxy S4 in New York. We have had a lot of exciting feedbacks and the positive consumer testimonials all around the world since then. It was very rewarding and encouraging. On behalf of all of us at the Samsung, we sincerely appreciate the attention the world has given to Samsung Galaxy S4. I want to say my appreciation, especially to the, all the journalists here and the journalists all around the world. Journalists, thank you very much for your help and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I want to say my appreciation to all our partners here and all around the world. My partners, thank you for your cooperation. Thank you, my partners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And one more finally, I really appreciate all the consumers all around the world. Thank you for my customers for your love of Galaxy S4. I want to say thank you to my all consumers and the customers in the world. Thank you. Thank you, my customers. Thank you. At the Samsung, we have listened further to our customers around the world for inspiration. Based upon their need and the desire, we have a striving to take innovation one step further. And tonight, we will show you how we can bring our customers a wide variety of choices. We have expanded the Galaxy S4 series, including S4 Active, as per Mini and as per Zoom. 
the new Galaxy S Plus 3 will fit wide range of lifestyle. No matter who you are, where you live, or what you enjoy. If you like outdoor sports, the, our Galaxy S4 Active is your perfect smartphone. If you are a value seeker and prefer compact design, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is one for you. For those who want to capture moment anytime, anywhere, with the best picture quality, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom is no compromise of choice. The Galaxy S4 Zoom is the first smartphone come up with a 10 time optical zoom which you have been dreaming of. Now, we can enjoy more bright and the vivid photos thanks to its 60 megapixel imaging sensor with the optical image stabilizer. And furthermore, it offers Xenon flash, allowing you to capture the moment even under low light circumstance. Now, with all new addition to the Galaxy S4 family, we can finally say Galaxy S4 range is now complete. Samsung innovation does not stop there. Today, we are announcing two new Active tablet. These are all about the Samsung's ongoing commitment to the rapidly growing tablet market. And this is all about our strong confidence in its leadership and the initiatives. The Active Q is versatile and adaptable. Active Q allows users to enjoy both Windows and Android OS on the same device. It's a very simple, very easy for any users. Not only supporting dual OS, ActiveQ offers very flexible user experience in its form factor. With all these four devices into one, still, this is very portable and mobile. And this is Active Tab 3. This is the world's thinnest window based tablet offering powerful performance. With Active Q and the Tab 3, Samsung Active Tablet reached the elusive technology goal of delivering power and the portability without sacrificing any usability. In addition to the new tablet. We are actively enhancing Active PC lineup. Active Book 9 Plus is a natural evolution from our premium Note PC, a true masterpiece. Active Book 9 Lite aims for larger customer base, offering optimal performance and the feature set at the reasonable price point. Active One 5 style is a perfect family computer with the latest style and the minimal design. Tonight, I still have one more innovative product to introduce. This is Galaxy NX. Samsung Galaxy NX is the world first interchangeable lens camera with LTE connectivity and uh, powered by Android platform. As you have just seen, we are committed to the diverse needs of our customers and to all their different lifestyle. The nine products I just have presented show Samsung's strengths of innovation, especially Galaxy S Zoom and Active Q. All right, 
my part is now over. Even though my speech was quite long tonight, I really appreciate your time and your attention. Thank you very much for your listening. Please enjoy the rest of the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for so eloquently setting out our opening chapter of tonight's Samsung story. So let's carry straight on with the product demonstration. I know that that's what you're really excited about. Let's hear a big warm welcome, please, for the charming, the dapper, the elegant Frenchman that is the Vice President of European Telecommunication Operations at Samsung Electronics. Let's hear it for Mr. Jean-Daniel Aim. Hello, everyone. And hello, Jason. It's great to see you again tonight. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Fantastic. I've Et been toi? rehearsing that all afternoon. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, yes, we, uh, we were on stage together, weren't we, recently for the launch of the S4 uh, in London. So I'm hoping that you've brought us something interesting today. Absolutely. We've got some fun devices that I'm sure many in the audience here will enjoy. Okay, so we're watching as this screen below us expands. It's very mysterious. A lot of people were buzzing online about what the significance of these shapes represented. What are these things? Well, I'm sure you all want to find out, right? But I think looking at a short video first will set the scene for our story. Got a lot on your plate? We'll make it simple. Like a challenge. Let us take the risk. Enjoy every moment of your life. We can bring them all closer. Your life, reflected in Galaxy, where everything begins with you. Okay, so I'm feeling the pop-up theme, but there's still no products. Enough with the teasing already. I know, I know. But a few more things to say before we actually get to the real good stuff. In the last few months, we have received so much support for the Galaxy S4, and we're really grateful for that. Now, in addition to expanding the Galaxy S4 family tonight, we're also giving our customers even more options with five new colors on the S4. The purple Mirage, the red Aurora, the blue Arctic, the brown Autumn, and the pink Twilight. Nice. I'm feeling the pink Twilight, if I'm honest. I'm thinking maybe pink twilight with a pair of blue arctic specs. I could rock that. Just me then. Okay. <laughs> I don't wear glasses. Maybe that's why. You should, man. You could, you could, that could work for you. Okay. Right. Uh, what else have you brought? Okay. Okay. Let's go then. We have three new Galaxy S4 family members to introduce tonight. They've been announced, but this is the first time they're making an actual appearance in the flesh. They are the S4 Mini, the S4 Active, and the S4 Zoom. I'm guessing that's a pop-up book. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So what do we have here? Uh -huh. hey. All right. So there it is. I'll take all three. Um, I'll put these in my pocket. But we'll start with the S4 Mini. Um, I think it's fair to say there's been a huge amount of anticipation about the release of this phone. Absolutely. For many people, their smartphone is like a fashion statement. So people see it saying a lot about who they are and how they want to be seen. So we have now a compact version of the S4 
with a 4.3 inch QHD Super AMOLED display. It is compact, yet extremely powerful as well. Nothing has been compromised to put it together. It has a very fast dual-core dual core processor, 8 gigabyte of internal storage, a powerful battery, and we've put an 8 megapixel camera on the back and a 1.9 megapixel camera on the front of the device. Okay, so that's the, uh, the Galaxy S4 Mini, a smaller version, uh, but still uh, packing some uh, high specs there. Now let's speed things up a little bit, uh, get a bit active. I've seen an awful lot online about a version of the, of the S4 that um, I guess is, is tougher, um, more ruggedized mm -hmm. than its predecessor. Right. <laughs> the key point of the S4 Active is about durability. You don't want to worry about your phone getting a bit dirty or a bit wet, do you? And the primary stat for that is something called ingress protection rating. Yep. Sounds painful. I agree. Uh, I actually know the, the numbers involved here. It's a rating of dust particles and moisture, correct? Exactly. And I'm proud to say here that the S4 Active has been certified IP67 which proves that it is protected against dust and it's water resistant. So you can take the S4 Active to the desert, to the beach, or use it while skiing both on snow or on water skis. If you're really active, you could do maybe both with this phone at the same time. What you're saying is it's the perfect phone for an English person, okay? With our climate, this is, this is the phone to take to Wimbledon. Ah, uh, come on, it's not, not that bad weather here. Have you been to Paris recently? No. They've had this uh, wonderful Wimbledon weather for three months now. Okay, I get it. I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I'm not pleased. Uh, so basically, it's water resistant. That's what we're trying to uh, get across here. I know. We're, we're all afraid of dropping our phone in the water, right? Now, with the Active, I can take it to the bath with me without worrying. Okay, so I think we've got the concept. Let's test it. Can I do that? Yes. You're sure about this? Yes. Okay, as long as you remember, I didn't ask for permission to do this. So imagine you're on your, uh, your smartphone, okay? Uh, you pop down the shops, down the local high street. Uh, you go into a pet shop, all right? As you're going in, chip on a tortoise. Oh, there goes your smartphone <laughs> into an aquarium. I'll just put it in the middle so you can actually see it on camera there. Let's turn it over. <sighs> and you can see it's still functioning underwater. Um, if I wanted to take pictures underwater with it, can I do that? Uh, well, if you dive into the tank, yes. You want me to dive into the tank now? Is that something? Shall I put the speedos on and, and do no, it? No, not now. Not now. Uh, just kidding. Okay. We have something called the aqua mode for you to help you with underwater pictures. Okay, I'm getting it. Um, the touch screen, does that work underwater? No, the touch screen doesn't work. But with aqua mode, you can use the volume rocker as a camera button, and it will also enhance the look and feel of underwater pictures. So it's not meant to be a high-end underwater photography, of course, but the S4 Active is fully protected for up to 30 minutes under one meter of water. Okay, so it's been in there for a while. I've got to be absolutely honest with you, we've done this about five times rehearsing today. So, <laughs> so it's been immersed for a considerable amount of time. The acid test is if I can come to the group of paparazzi here, if you don't mind, boys, I'm actually going to take your picture while you take my picture. Let me just get into the camera mode. Uh, my hands are so soaking wet. The screen's still working. They are. All right. Everyone, say cheese. <laughs> okay. There we go. Absolutely marvellous. Let's see if that's actually worked. I'll just step back here so our camera can get a shot of it. Uh, okay. I'm an awful photographer, but you get the point. There is the shot. For everyone to see, there's another shot. I took two. There you go. Let me zoom back out. Right. As I said, what do you think to that? It's, it, I mean, it's still soaking wet and it's still working perfectly well. It does. Even the touch screen, look. 30 minutes at a depth of one meter. So, again, no scuba diving here, but you could certainly do some shallow snorkeling or take it to the swimming pool with you. Okay. And hardware specs? Okay. We have a gorgeous display. A fantastic processor, 
all the functions you would expect from a high-end device, a great battery, two great cameras, 8 and 2 megapixel, and a lot of memory, which is expandable. OK, and obviously you mentioned earlier snowboarding, uh, you know, water skiing, that sort of thing. Uh, I can see it's glove friendly. Absolutely, it is yeah. glove friendly. So you can use it with gloves and you have also the hardware buttons at the bottom that help. OK, fantastic. Full connectivity? Full connectivity and lovely colors. OK, um, so all that from a phone that essentially you can drop down the toilet and it's, it's going to survive. Don't knock it, it actually happens. Um, OK, what's next? Next is an amazing camera phone. Ladies and gentlemen, the Galaxy S4 Zoom. I talk and shoot. I shoot and talk. Talk and Zoom. Talk and Zoom. Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. Okay, so the uh, first question I think that comes to mind when you look at this phone, Jean Dang, if I'm just being honest with you, is it a phone or is it a camera? Well, both. Officially, the Galaxy S4 Zoom is the only smartphone in the world with a 10 time optical zoom. Okay, so tell us about the lens. This is the key feature of the Galaxy S4, obviously. Zoom has a high quality 10 times optical zoom. Better glass for better pictures. I'm sure you will all agree that when you zoom on a smartphone, it's tough to get a good shot usually. That's because most smartphones are digital and digital only. But as you can see behind me here, the S4 Zoom can actually take amazingly crisp pictures from very far away. OK, so I think it's fair to say that people that know about photography will understand the importance of an optical 10 times zoom rather than a digital one. What about the happy snappers? So people that aren't so uh, proficient at photography, but maybe they want something that's a bit more powerful than your average camera phone. They want to take it around the world, but still get phone functionality out of it. Well, everyone who use the S4 Zoom will see the benefit of the optical image stabilizer. You can use algorithm to create a digital stabilizer, but when you're working with real glass, like with this lens, the quality is so much higher. In this case, the stabilizer gives you better results in low light environment. It's a true camera experience in a smartphone with amazing results. And what about the sensor? The sensor is a very bright 16 megapixels BSI CMOS sensor, which is good for low light conditions. But if you need extra light, the Galaxy S4 Zoom has a Xenon flash here, which I'm sure you all know is miles better than a standard LED flash. OK, so when you put all that together, what we're talking about is um, a bright CMOS sensor, uh, Xenon flash, glass optics. Uh, you should be able to take some great shots with that phone, therefore, down the pub, but also probably on the way back from the pub on a dark, murky evening. <laughs> right, eventually. I don't know why I'd want to do look that. look here. You can see the difference for yourself. Yeah. The photo to the right here has been taken with the S4 Zoom, and it's much clearer and brighter. OK, I notice you're sporting the elegant white version. Absolutely. The official naming for that is White Frost. And the one you're holding yourself is the Black Mist. Oh. Does it ring any bell? It does. They're S4 colors. They are. Is it sad that I know that? <laughs> yes. Black Mist is also my superhero name, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, would you like me to show you my superhero skills? Uh, maybe not now. Are you sure? No. I can do it with some petrol and a, some matches. L later. All right. OK. Fair enough. Uh, right. I want to ask you, uh, getting back to <laughs> the serious point of the phone, uh, about some of the uh, software and features. One of the things that I'm really interested in finding out about is something called in-call photo share. I think the name sort of says it, doesn't it? Yes. As you can guess from the name, this feature lets you take a picture while you are in the middle of the call. All you have to do while you're talking is spin the ring, take a picture, and hit the send button, and it will go directly 
during the call to the person you're talking to. Simple, three easy steps, spin the ring, snap the picture, send the picture. Okay, uh, I've got it. I'm going to go over there so we can see uh, some of this in action. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the interface? Well, the interface is all about this ring, this zoom ring here. When you're at the home screen, for example, with just a quick spin of the ring, it will immediately toggle the spin dial interface, which is loaded with shortcuts. But let me show you here another feature called Photo Suggest. From the camera interface, you press the GPS icon, and it will identify where you are and show you pictures on the map. So you can look at the pictures that other people from the world have loaded up to the internet at this place and check out their angles and then take your great image. Okay, uh, I'm just checking out smart mode here. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Smart mode. We have 25 smart modes to choose from, many of which uh, have been improved or even new. Okay, so. so sorry. No, go in. Yeah, well, I was just going to say the point about smart modes, just to make it really clear, is that you, the, the idea is that you get professional level results uh, from a really simple, easy to use interface. But my, my question is looking at all of these, wh which one's best to use? Absolutely. That's why we have developed a feature called Smart Mode Suggest, which automatically chooses from 12 smart modes and gives you the best one based on the particular shooting situation you are in. So let's say I wanted to take a closer portrait of you. It would suggest the best face yeah. mode. I've got it here. If I wanted to take a nightscape, it would suggest the night mode. That is actually what it's suggesting because of the low light conditions in here. That's really interesting. Um, OK, so uh, the Galaxy S4 Zoom. Is there anything else? OK. So there were a few rumors out there but we keep this one on the wraps until tonight. So here it is now, just for you, a worldwide premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to introduce you tonight to the Galaxy NX. Okay, John Daniel, uh, perhaps you'd like to fill us in on what we just saw. I'll just put it together. Okay. I'm sure you remember the uh, Galaxy camera that we introduced last year. And you also probably have seen our award-winning line of high-end NX cameras. This year, we're taking the notion of connected camera to a whole new level with the Galaxy NX. It has all the features expected from a high-end mirrorless camera plus the power of Android, so you can share your beautiful photos quickly and easily. OK, so you give it to me in a nutshell. If you don't mind, I'll <laughs> grab it while you do that. OK, in a and nutshell? I, yeah, and again, we'll just get some shots of the interface. In a nutshell, the Galaxy NS is the world's first interchangeable lens Android camera with 4G LTE. OK, so when you say interchangeable lenses, what you, what you mean is that you can put professional grade lenses onto the NX, yeah? Yes, exactly. You have all the high quality optics that you'd expect, but in the lighter, more portable format that is so popular these days. Galaxy NX is fully compatible with the lenses built for other Samsung NX cameras. Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, the lenses. There are 13 Perfect. lenses to choose from, including a brand new 10 millimeters fish eye lens. So you'll have a complete flexibility, and even pros are going to appreciate that. As you say that, I'm just going into uh, expert mode. I had it in standard mode there, which um, gave me lots of smart features. Um, I'm now in expert mode. So if you know about shutter priority or all the manual functionality, then it's all there uh, in a really easy to use 
touch screen. Um, so it's a paparazzi pleaser, but what about the, the sensor? Because that is a primary consideration if you're looking for a higher grade of shots. We completely agree. That's why we've put a 20.3 megapixel sensors for the best photo possible in any environment. And we've taken the NX300 state-of-the-art hybrid autofocus and applied it to this Galaxy NX. So you have the best autofocus features from both DSLR and compact cameras. OK, so let's say that I'm, I'll go back into the camera mode. I'm snapping 20 megapixel uh, continuous photos. What kind of shutter speed can I expect? Very fast. This is perfect for fast-moving subject, and it is comparable to what you'd seen even on a top-end DSLR, meaning you've got a top shutter speed of one six thousandth of a second. Okay, so uh, people that know about photography will know that that's, that's quick. That's quick. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, so uh, the other interesting thing is that it's um, running Android. I can show it here if you just give us the details. Absolutely. This is running the latest version of Android. So after you've taken those amazing shots, you can access to the Android universe of apps and have some fun as well. This device will always keep you connected so you can share high quality pictures and full HD video anywhere, anytime. Okay. Um, I mean, this is an interface that I've not really seen on a camera like this before. Is that fair to say? Yeah, it's fair to say, and we think it's quite unique, actually. Even as you pick it up for the first time now, you'll get a sense of a new premium experience. And when you start using it, you realize that the user interface is very advanced and gives you total control, but yet it's not cluttered. The interface is thoughtfully designed, intuitive to use, and gives you the freedom to focus on composition and creating outstanding photos. Hardware, what's under the bonnet? Aha, okay, look at this. A fantastic screen, one of the largest display screens out there in the digital camera market. A powerful application processor and a separate ISP, image signaling processor, making a significant leap in terms of speed and raw power over the previous generation. Um, okay, so I've just been messing around in expert mode. I'm just gonna, if you can see this, I'm going to smart mode. Uh, this is similar to what we've seen on the, uh, the Galaxy S4 Zoom and the original Galaxy camera. Um, what can we expect in terms of smart modes on the NX? There we go. Yes, you have the smart mode and, and even more. Actually, we've added other great modes in this, like uh, multi-exposure, miniature, or uh, interval shot. In all, there are more than 30 smart modes on the NX. And of course, a lot of the new camera features like the story album, for example, that we've introduced earlier. Okay, good stuff. Well, JD, what can I say? Thank you very much. Uh, it's been really exciting to see what's uh, going on in the world of Galaxy. Okay, it's been a pleasure for me to introduce this product to you here. At Samsung, we are always listening to the market and working to meet consumer demands. But we are also looking ahead and trying to bring meaningful innovation to a wide variety of consumers. This innovation opens up new possibilities for all of us. So stay tuned, have a lovely evening, and see you later in the Experience Zone. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jean-Daniel Aime. You better have that. Yep, thanks. I can't keep it? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Great, okay, so uh, now let's move on to the Ative family of Windows 8 products. Whatever the task, we'll fit in perfectly. Wherever you need to go, we'll be with you. Freedom to explore, no matter what. Making your life more creative, originative, and innovative. Your life reflected in Ative, where everything begins with you. Okay, to take us through those, please welcome on stage the head of European Active Marketing of Samsung Electronics, Patrick Povel. Okay, so Patrick Ative, uh, new name launched last year, some new products. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to see. Okay, let me start off by talking about Galaxy. 
What we've done is we've taken the outstanding DNA of Samsung's Galaxy and incorporated that into our Windows OS-based devices, okay. the Ativ family. So I'm, I'm guessing that's based around people getting busier, trying to do more in less time, on the road, doing business, traveling. Yes. So we have redesigned and recreated the Ativ from scratch so that it could provide the kind of mobility and power performance that people demand. We are sure that people will be impressed. All right, well, let's find out. Let's roll VT. I've been watching. I don't mean to creep you out. Uh, that's mostly what I do. I'm watching and sucking a lot of the time, majority of the time during the day. But I found that those Samsung smartphones have changed people's lives. Hmm, it even tastes good. Samsung, yeah, I need it. That ugly thing doesn't fit my modern life. Yeah, use your milk, buddy. Oh, thank you, Bear. Oops. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, boring PC. Dad, look. It's something more creative, Ative. originative, Ative. and innovative. Ative. That's it. Ative. Ative. <laughs> I think I just peed myself. Hey, all that work and I just get the box to play with? Come on, Dad. <laughs> and I've had a little like... Right, of course. I mean... Well, anyway, now you can expect more creative originative and innovative from Samsung Ativ. Life's changed, why not PC? PC Innovative Samsung Ativ. <laughs> so that gives you some idea where Samsung is coming from. Good, okay, so what have you brought along to show us? I have a tablet device, the Ativ Tab 3 to show you. I also got our new convertible device, the Ativ uh, Q. But what I want to talk about first is the Ativ family. With Ativ being the name for all of our Windows-based devices, we've got uh, tablets called Ativ Tab, we've got laptops called Ativ Book in different kind of models. Then we have our all-in-ones called the Ativ One, also coming in various formats and, you know, Generally, the higher the number, the better they are. Plus, nice. And this is really special. We have the Ativ Q. Okay. Uh, and the idea for this convertible device is that it's got the uh, functionality of a tablet, but the usability of a notebook. Yes, uh, but what I want to emphasize is the broad spectrum of product innovations. It shows Samsung's role as an industry innovator. Anyone who says we are not has not been watching closely. Blimey, get you with your strong words. Um, all right, let's, let's dive into the convertible device then uh, in a little bit more detail. Sounds good. All right. Okay, so a, a slick presentation, uh, but tell me, why isn't it just a big tablet? Okay, I, I think I know what you mean. When you first look at the 13.3-inch display, you might be thinking, does the bigger screen really make a product better? Is there any real innovation here? And you know, size is, is great. But I think size alone, we can all agree, is not enough. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? I know what you're saying. It's an age-old question. Oh, okay. Are you going to let me hold it at any point? 
in a minute. Yeah. Just teasing me with it. Uh, yeah, but you know, but the, the, there are there is more to the size thing. It's not just about size. It's also about what's under there. So just g give us some details. Yes, it is beneath the surface where innovation really begins. Putting all these innovations together with that large screen. Well, now see for yourself. Can I have it now? Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, so it's a high quality display. Let me just turn it on here. You not turned it on for me. Let me just do that there. There we go. It's up on the screen, actually. You can see on the screen uh, there are several things. You, you, you sort that out, and I'll explain it there. There are several uh, applications or programs open on the screen simultaneously there. Uh, I think there's a spreadsheet, a, a browser. Uh, there's a couple of PowerPoints. Uh, and there's still room on the screen there. There's still a lot of real estate left on the screen. I'll sort that out. There we go. Oh, there, there we go. go. Well done. OK. Yes. This is because of the re resolution, because what you're looking at is the world's highest resolution. It is a 3,200 by 1,800 display. And remember, this is a 13-inch. We're not talking about a 15-inch or a 17-inch. Okay, so I'm trying to work out what the pixels per square inch of that is. It is 275, and the technical name Why for it... Why did I know you'd know that? That's really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> The technical name for this is QHD Plus, and I think that's probably one of the best displays you've ever seen on such a mobile device. And this stunning display is also optimized for outdoor use. So let's talk about brightness. It is so bright that you can even use the Atif Q in very bright sunlight. Okay, so you're hitting on a, you know, a genuine issue there. Um, I think most tablet users will understand that in bright sunshine, say trying to watch a film on a, I don't know, a beach, for example, or reading really a magazine uh, on the beach, it, it, it's a problem for tablets, isn't it? Exactly. We designed this to eliminate that issue with an exceptional brightness of the display, which also automatically senses where you are and adjusts the brightness accordingly between indoor and outdoor. Plus, this device, has a very wide view angle of 178 degree. Okay, I'm just checking that out, yeah. Uh, okay, so a bright screen. Uh, obviously, you're the Samsung demonstrator, and I had to basically pull this out of your hands to get it, but do me a favor, can I demonstrate this next bit? Go ahead. Because this is, I think you're gonna like this. Okay, so basically, let me just make sure I've got it in the, in the correct mode here. Uh, there, that's Android, okay? That's an Android operating system. Okay, flick here, hit that button, Windows 8. I can touch here this time, Android, Windows 8. Right. And you notice there is no need to reboot Android. You can seamlessly and easily switch back and forth between the two. It is fast and intuitive. And you can also pin Android apps onto the Windows 8 start screen. This is really great for getting quick access to all your favorite apps. Okay, so the idea is I could be, I don't know, building a blog post in Windows 8, while at the same time, simultaneously, as I'm waiting for creative inspiration, I could be throwing Angry Birds at pigs, for example, in Android, yeah? That is exactly what it was designed to do. Allow you to use Android apps on Windows 8. And I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's cool, I'm just playing Angry Birds at the moment, so uh, there we go, just to prove the point, there it is. Okay, there, and then straight away, Back to Windows. Okay, very cool. What about the brains uh, of the device itself? Um, what is powering all this functionality? We have designed this with the latest Intel Haswell CPU. So it has great graphic performance and power efficiency that's giving this device an amazing battery life of up to nine hours. Okay. Um, what makes it convertible? Because in this format, it's just a tablet. Yeah, we aimed for the ATFQ to make it, you know, for usability. That's, that was our, our aim. But we're starting here, like using it as a tablet, but what I can do, and I show this to the camera here, is voila, it's popping up, and now I have the fully functionality and usability of a notebook as well. It's interesting, some interesting engineering behind that. How, how do you go about getting a keyboard that's as low profile as that into a tablet which actually is, is in its own right very uh, slim. I know, it's, it's amazing. And I also can prop it up like this and it's creating kind of a floating display. Yeah, 
So for a draftsman or an architect or, or uh, some such. Right, and I can also like turn it around and then it's, it's a stand like this. But you also mentioned about like drawing, right? Yeah. So this device has also the S Pen, which is, you know, perfect uh, replacement for the mouse, but you can also write or draw anything you want. The S Pen works also with applications like Photoshop and of course apps like Evernote, uh, which is great for jotting down ideas. Now, all that power, all that brightness, all that flexibility is in a device which is just 13.9 millimeters thin and it weights only 1.29 kilogram. You're very convincing with the figures, Patrick. Um, it is incredibly thin, I have to be honest with you. And it does, it does uh, you know, su suggest a solution to the age-old problem of lugging around a laptop. So you need the power and the ease of a laptop, but actually you know, you've got this. Uh, you've got that same laptop functionality in a small form factor. Uh, what, what's this material that it's made out of? We've put in top quality magnesium to make the feel very premium and at the same time the device very durable. Yeah, magnesium makes sense. I've got an electric bike that's made out of magnesium. Uh, it is incredibly uh, resilient, but yes, it's got a, a sort of luxurious feel to it. Okay, so that's the, uh, the active queue, ladies and gentlemen, taking tablets into the new territory. Uh, but I see another tablet is popping up before us. Now, first, your first impression of this might be that this is the Galaxy Tab 3, which was, I think, uh, just launched last week, right? But in fact, this thin and I think very light gadget is the ATIF Tab 3, and it's running a full version of Windows 8. We launched ATIF Smart PCs last year, and they were very well received in the market, and since that, we have continued to uh, innovate this product line and these are very attractive It's a very attractive form factor and it has the specifications to back it up when you compare this tablet to other tablets out there we think it's better I only followed you so I could grab it is that okay let me just bring it over here uh, so this is the active tab 3 let's have a look um, size wise it's it's very thin indeed what are we looking at here let me just try and give you a shot to camera there. Okay. The ATIF Tab 3 is just 8.2 millimeters thin, and it's incredibly light at the same time, just 550 gram. It is. So oh, that's a teensy bit over half a kilo. Am I right? Yeah. I, I hear uh, you're a bit of a tablet fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've probably got five tablets, I think. Okay. Uh, one for, for each member of the family. Okay, and... Uh, I probably shouldn't admit that in public, but there, it's out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, and can you use all your software with this? Oh, no, no. Obviously, standard sort of PC-based software is a no-go. Yeah, and that is the great feature here. Even in this very slim tennis uh, screen size, it also has a full version of Windows 8, not the RT version. Okay, so that's, that's getting to the nub of things, isn't it? A full version of Windows 8 on a tablet. That's, that could be a game changer. Yeah, think about it for a second. We have here an extremely portable device, which is no bigger and no heavier than an Android tablet. And it even looks like an Android tablet, but it can, can run every single program which you run on your PC at home. Okay, but a critical question has to be uh, battery life. With all that going on, surely the battery life uh, you know, it will suffer. Yeah. It's running a full 8.5 hours, and it's really enough time for all they use in the office, at home, or on the go. And, you know, I'd just like to mention that Windows 8 is the thing that makes this tablet different. Okay, so the usability of a PC in a uh, very thin, lightweight form factor like this, um, essentially it should mean that I can read and write office documents possibly create them elsewhere on a desktop or somewhere else, uh, and then read them and, uh, and edit them on here, correct? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And, and create them on here. Yeah, so just as a little extra, just to get everyone started, we have bundled the latest version of Microsoft Office 2013 for free. Okay, and I'm sensing there is an S Pen 
tucked away in here too. You love your S pens, don't you? Yeah, we love them, yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, have you ever tried using the S Pen on Office 2013? I, you know, I think it's re amazing and personally I believe the S Pen does far better than the mouse can do. It is easy, it's comfortable to use and very convenient. And as a summary, we are really proud what we have packed in the Active Tab 3. Good stuff. Okay, let's move down to the, uh, the downward area and show us what we've got next, please, Patrick. The first is the Active Book 9 Plus. It is extremely powerful and stunningly thin. Okay, um, my guess is that you're going to be following along the same Samsung design lines, minimalism, mobility, that sort of thing. Exactly, and for those who like, like facts, it is only 13.6 millimeters thin and it weighs just 1.3 nine kilogram and you get a full 12 hours of battery life so it is good for all day working all day computing and plus it is four hours longer than even the previous model so has anything been sacrificed in terms of the user experience uh, you know the answer there is no sacrifice at all it has the same stunning high resolution QHD plus touchscreen of the Edge of Q. And the resol resolution, as I mentioned before, is the highest in the world. Okay, and what about um, uh, this next feature, SideSync? Wh what's that all about? This is a really convenient feature. SideSync lets you do all the drag and drop file transfer transfers, you know, from of, of your documents, your messages, your photos, between your smartphone and the Edge You also can have, you know, you have your phone screen on the ATIF while you have the phone in your pocket because it's beaming up all the content from the phone. Okay, so I'm, you're my boss, I'm working away, my phone's in my bag, you know, in my back pocket or whatever, but I'm actually able to organize going out with 15 mates on my phone because it's on the desktop. Is that, is that what you're getting at? Exactly. You can have your phone in your pocket, but still you can operate your phone screen on your laptop. Okay, cool. Uh, and there's a light version. Yes. The Book 9 Lite is, uh, you know, configured a little bit differently, but still emphasizing on power, premium design, and ultimate mobility. It runs with a quad-core CPU and it's only 16.9 millimeters thin. It weights just 1.44 kilogram, and it gives, you know, many of the same features of the Plus models, but it is perfect for, like, consumers who are looking more for value. Okay, and a, a similar des design. Yes, uh, because we want to pro provide consumers with different options enjoying these beautiful portable devices. And the Book 9 Lite comes in three different colors, which is marble white, ash black, and not red wine, wine red. <laughs> Get it right, okay. Uh, we've got one more thing to talk about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to the Ative One Five Style. This is the perfect home entertainment de device. And it shares the same sleek and modern design of the Galaxy S4, so you can immediately recognize the curves, the narrow bezel, and of course, the premium metal frame. It's got a very clean and slim look you can see at the back and the profile. At its thickest point, it is only 26.9 millimeters, and on the edge, just 4.5 millimeters. Our research has told us that consumers simply loved it. Okay, uh, a device like this needs to perform well in terms of multimedia. Yeah, it has a quad-core CPU, which is giving you outstanding performance. We've also installed Samsung's Alive feature, which uh, with, uh, with a separate 2.2 channel tweeter, each with the, its own amplifier. And it's also worth mentioning that the One 5 style has a software feature called Home Sync Lite, which essentially turns the device into a home server in a personal cloud. I get it. So wherever my movies and, and media content, my tunes, whatever are, I can find them on that device and indeed others. Exactly, at any time. Okay, well, thank you, Patrick. Uh, it's been great having you here this evening. Thank you very, very much uh, for walking us through all these products. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please give a big hand for Patrick Povel.
Thank you, London. Well done, Patrick. Okay. Awesome. Right. We're almost there now. Um, so you've all got a chance, you'll be pleased to know, to get hands-on um, with all of these Galaxy and Active devices. Uh, but don't run away when you're done playing with the gadgets because we've got one more huge surprise to announce. Uh, popping in, or should I say popping up, we've got some really fantastic live entertainment. That's set to kick off at about 8.40. Uh, and trust me, you will not want to miss it. It's been a genuine pleasure being with you tonight. I hope you have a great evening. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please make your way through to the product experience.